classes are basically construction functions with some syntax sugar so we can use the just function marks to mark the classes let's create those examples And actually, let's, let's change the way we import and export. This won't work for my environment. So there are four ways to create class mocks. The first one is using the automatic mock. So let me copy this entire test. Okay, so when we use automatic mocks, Jazz gets this the sound player and replaces all the methods by Jazz mocks, and Jazz function mocks always returns undefined. So you can note that I don't even have a, a mock folder here, so this is totally automatically. I, I don't have to specify anything. It will just get this this sound player class and and replace those methods. And the documentation also notes that you can't use arrow functions in our classes because otherwise Jess won't see those arrow functions and will think that they will be only references and won't create mock functions for them. First of all, uh, it clears the mocks on each test so you can use safely the matchers and one test won't interfere into the other test. So this first test only checks if the sound player constructor has been called one time and this sound player it's, it's not the same of the consumer so this sound player is inside the consumer constructor is this one and that's what it's testing here. So first it tests if the mock clear is working and so the sound player should not been called should not have been called and then here it creates a consumer and now the sound player must have been called one time that's the same it's the same test of this one and here it calls a method play something cool 
that will pass this, this song name to the play sound file of the sound player. And actually, we're not using this variable here, we're using only here on the matcher. So it calls the, the, the function, and here we are grabbing the instance of the sound player, which is this reference here. So we're getting this referencing on the test, and here we are playing the reference for this function here, so this method here, it's getting this reference. And remember, this function will be a just mock because we use the alphamat alphamatically mock here. So you can also see on the test that the console log has not been called because the body will be different. This body won't be used because this class has been mocked. But we can check if the, the, me the method has been called with the correct argument, which in this case the song.mp3, and that's, that's accurate. And this test is the same of this test here. So we're saying that this display sound file uh, must have been called with this argument, and also it must have been called one time. So I already already run the test and, and that's the, the result. Okay, now let's create some manual mocks. In this case, I will I will create a mock file and this will be the implementation that will be used on our test. This test will conflict with the automatic automatic mock test, so I'll just replace this extension to text so it won't get called. Okay, we have a problem here. I'm not using this this the syntax to export, so I'll have to change the model. Dot, oops, exports, and this is the the default export in, in my case. And also, I don't I can't use this this type of export in here, so I'll I'll name this variable. And I will inject this into my mock class so I can reference it, it later on the test oh actually this is not the correct file sorry about it uh, this is the mock so it is sound player .js. so this will be used to mock the sound player and yes this is the implementation of the test Okay, my manual mock works, so let me explain what's happening here. Okay, I, I'm requiring the, the sound player, and now it is getting the mock version because um, I have mocked the, the sound player here, and it's not an automatic mock because now I have the, the implementation here on mocks, and that's the mock implementation of the class, okay, is a higher order function. So it's a function that it's a function that returns another function. It will be treated as a constructor for the class. 
and here I'm also using the play sound file as a just mock function so and I'm storing this this mock function here on the mock play sound file and I am injecting it on the class okay this is, is, is the class and not on the return of the instance so let's go back to our test so okay, here I have the class here I have the mock play sound file that I've stored on the class and here we have the consumer here we are mocking the sound player and on the before each we are clearing the mock of the class but oh sorry this class and also we are clearing the mock of the method that is inside the class so we are also clearing this mock here for each execution okay first time first test is just like the automatically mock test and the second test we're just testing that uh, the mock the mock function is being called with the song.mp3 name so let's run again okay so in this example it is doing the exactly th same thing that we are doing on our, on the mock class we are mocking the implementation of the class and returning this this constructor function so i'll just rename it to text so it doesn't conflict on on our current test and i'll replace this call okay i can't rem i can remove this this one I, I also can remove and here we have the just mock and we're mocking the sound player with this implementation so let's run the test oh okay uh, it's not the the path was wrong Okay, of test passing. At the documentation, it it leaves a, an interesting comment here. So, in a previous in a previous documentation, it explained that the all the mock calls are hoisted and moved moved to the top of the of the file when when Jest runs the test. So, if you try to do this, let me do the test. Okay, it will pass because also the variables with the mock prefix are also hoisted, so it will adjust will go and do that for me. But let's suppose I, I change this implementation to oops, I change the name of this 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 function to fake. And actually let's move it. You can see that it will fail because Jazz will only hoist this function. It will only move this this function here when it goes in and runs the runs the test. So in that case, the fake play sound file would not be implemented. You can see here invalid variable access fake play sound file. So if you are using some mock function inside your implementation of another mock, you should name it mock play sound so in that case let's test and of course it will work I, i've tested before okay because the sound player is mocked it also have access to use the, the method mock implementation so you we can change the implementation on the runtime of the test so let's copy this test So in this case, because our mock is not the real mock, uh, I I renamed it, so so just don't use it. It will uh, 
mock automatically the sound player with just some some empty mocks and here we'll be changing the implementation to throw this test error and here on the test we're expecting this this call to throw the error so let's test it We can have some simpler mocks, okay? You don't have to to use to use the mock implementation if you're not testing the calls, how many calls was sent, etc. You can also mock a class with another class, but in this case, uh, this this function won't have access to the mock functions like uh, oh has been called one time, has been called with with some pr parameter. So in this case, it will be just a a mock that will replace implementation without the the mock capabilities of Jest. So let me let me copy let let test it. It will probably break some of the old tests. Oh yeah, it broke this this mock implementation because okay. Now our sound player it is not a mock function it is is just a class a common class and here we're trying to call the mock implementation and this sound player won't have this mock implementation so that's why this test will 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 bug because it's not calling this implementation and it will not throw the error so I'll just skip this test Okay, don't have a test for it, but but let's create our own. Okay, the sound player won't have a mock clear, but let's leave it, let's leave it there to see what happens when you try to when we try to run this. Okay, it fills. Okay, it fails in several places. The first place is place where it fails is here on the mock clear because this is not a function. The simple player is not a mock function. It is a simple class. So let me here. Let me remove this. And also, it won't have the has been called one time. So because as it mentioned here, it is not a spy function, mock or spy function. So let me remove this. And you can see the console logs here for the mox constructor constructor was called and this 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 one. And here's another alternative. Uh, it is very similar to the mock manual mock. Okay, uh, remember here that we, we replace this implementation with the mock implementation. So in this example, it is just not using the mock implementation, it's just using a function. And in this case, it will have the same problem as this simple function. This won't have the won't have the just mock capabilities like mock clear, like having called x times, etc.
arrow functions won't work because they you can't call a new to an arrow function. Actually, let's let's do this test. Okay, let's first use the one that works. Okay, it works. And now if I try to use arrow functions, let's see what happens. It breaks because sound player is not a constructor. So if you want to spy on, on a constructor, you will have to use the mock implementation and that what that's what we were doing on the manual mock that's what we were doing here on this mock implementation okay here's just talking about clearing the the mocks and that's the complete example.